Hi, this is Linda with Casey Creations by Linda. Today we're going to do a tutorial from Digi and SVG Designs for You. It is her Steampunk Folio. We collaborated in this. I designed all the mechanisms and everything and she designed the paper to fit it. And I think it turned out really great. First we've got three little pockets here. They all have their little tags in them. When you open it up, you've got two little notebooks here. And I've tied it with some gold baker's twine. And they open up. You've got a little journaling space in there. This one is the same. This is the front fold. We've got a big belly band with two pockets on it, some ephemera in it, and underneath the band also. Opens up again. We've got a big angled pocket, more ephemera, some fussy cuts. The center is a three layered pocket with a pull out from the top, also, so it is packed. And we fold the little guy up. We've got a big pocket here and some more large ephemera we're going to go through. And I'm going to go through this step by step, so if you want to follow along or watch the whole tutorial and then do it, it's up to you. I printed out all my paper. Now this is the main part, the actual whole part here that we're going to be folding. And I do back it before I cut it out. This is our little side band. This right here. Some more of our pockets, our boots. These are our little, oh, and I also, sorry, I also backed it with the same. These are little notebooks that we're going to fold to make these little guys right here. So I have printed it with the lined cardstock, and they fold like so. So when you open it up, you've got your lines. And those are the only three that I back on the other side. Here we've got our belly band, more little pockets, our ephemera that goes in the pockets. Part of the, this is the bottom layer of the tiered pocket in the center. Some more ephemera, the sting pump man, some big ephemera here. Our two little pockets that go on the belly band here. Some more big cards, the big angled pocket that is here, and here is the rest of our center pockets. We've got the big one and the layers that go on top, pretty steampunk hat, and some more ephemera. Now I do back all of my ephemera with another layer of cardstock. I don't print on the back. I just like it to be very durable. Here's all of the backing paper that comes with it. This is what I use to back my main piece. There's some lined pages, some beautiful butterflies, steampunk butterflies, some more lined paper, and some pretty diamonds. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get everything prepped. And if you would like to do that, please do so. If not, get you something, your favorite beverage, and I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I've got all my pieces cut out, backed, and inked. All the fussy cuts cut out. I'm ready to get going on this, so let's have some fun. This is our main part. All you did, cut it out. I backed it. Just fold it in half. This is our flap that is going to go on this side. It's got the little tab there. And we're going to do this a little bit differently. We're not going to glue it like so. We're going to glue the flap on top on the inside. Then our tiered pocket will cover up our flap. You can use whatever glue that you like. I use Aline's Tacky Glue. 
gonna glue our flat down. Take it. This is the front. Just gonna take it, get it lined up the best we can. Side, make sure we're not hanging over. That looks good. Then we have our little flap here. Just like so. And that is the hardest part there is to it. Right there. We just did it. So, let's start working on our little flap here. That is this one. It's got our little pockets on it. So here's our little pockets. I've scored all my tabs and inked them. Cut out the little thumb pull there. Now when you glue your flaps down, glue your sides first, then fold your bottom over. That makes a, your little pocket. If you do it this way, then your card is going to hit the edge of this when you slide it in. So just go like so. glue on all three tabs it does not matter which of the three goes first they can go in any order <coughs> excuse me <coughs> in any placement I'm going to put this one right down the bottom, get it lined up, just give it a press, make sure we're okay, I got a little crooked there, so let me fix it a minute here. And the thumb holes on these, she's made them so easy. They're either a half an inch, an inch, and I think one is three quarters, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it at the top. Make sure we get it all lined up. On the edge. This is what I'm referring to as the little thumb cutouts there. center this one in between these two. That looks pretty good. There we go, just like that, ladies. This is what we just did. Now let's glue our little circles on here. we get all of our pockets put in we can come back with our ephemera they should all be dry enough by that time and just center it wherever you would like it you can use your little 
somehow kind of as a guiding spot there to where it's even. And inking is a preference. You can ink if you want. I always ink everything just to cover up any white edges. And my go-to ink is Vintage Photo. Seems to blend with everything. There. there, now we have that section all done. Let's move over to the front. This is where our belly band is. It's got our little pockets on it. Our little flaps here. And you can measure if you want. I'm just going to eyeball it to get it centered here. Same distance on each side of it. Bring it up. Make sure it's straight. Make sure we're not hanging off. Nope, we're good. Let's give it a good press. Now we have our little pockets, these little guys here. lining it up it's going to be just about see these two little rectangles here in the film strip I'm going to cover up the first one that kind of gives us plenty of room for our femur that's going to go in there get our next one our next one's going to go all the way to the bottom Now we've got these little labels here. It says gearing up, recharging my batteries. And I didn't cut those out because they were so tiny. I was afraid I might lose one. Then I'd be digging around on my desk trying to find it. Now, embellishing is your choice. You do you, whatever you want to put on. There's tons of fussy cuts. And here you can decorate it any way you want. She'll always brace your scissors on your fingers. Helps you cut relatively straight. Here. 
<clears throat> and cut out my Glue is driving me crazy on my finger. Let's see if I can get rid of it. Put that right, right by recharging. So it says recharging my. You know why my fingernails are always inked. Because <laughs> I'm always holding on to tiny little pieces. Get that centered. There we go. We've got our belly band done. Now let's open them up to the inside. It's this big angled pocket here. And I have it somewhere in all my stuff. There it is. It's going to go right here. Do not glue this edge. Just glue the long and the bottom. I always move mine in a little bit. You can put it completely to the edge if you want. But I always bring mine in just a tad. That is total preference. It's whatever you like. And then I put some of the butterflies on here. This little guy's wing is hanging over. And I have those over here in all my fuzzy cats. And if you want to glue them totally down, you can. I just glue this little middle. You can arrange them however you would like. Or not at all. That's up to you. You can put them on one of the cards. Put them somewhere else. Put them in here. Okay. We got that done. Now we're going to do our center. What I did, and I saved this, I didn't ink it, because I want to see my lines really good. So I'm going to gently fold it back and just run my ink right down that crease. That's going to give me a good line, as you can see it now, to follow. All of these, A, B, C, and D. We're going to start with our big one. We're going to center him right here in the center. Glue the sides and the bottom.
again. I'm going to move it up just a tad from the bottom. Make sure that I'm not close to my folds. Make sure he's straight. largest of the three. Again, sides and bottom. Line it up right on top of them. And you can see how it starts making an image under there. This is the gear and it just completed it. Get our next one. Same thing, sides and bottom. See how our gear just formed there? So check, make sure we're good. And our last one. Now we have the complete image. The gears all finished off themselves there. And that's our three-tiered pocket. Now let's work on our little notebooks here. Remember they open up. We've got our little flap. And there's a writing space inside. Okay, our little notebooks we were talking about, I want to show you everything we're going to be doing. We're going to add our little buttons on and our little flap and our little tie. So here's our little notebooks. And I'm going to position it just about like so after it gets its tab on. The entire back will be glued down. I've taken the little flaps here and I have scored it at one inch to give you some indication. It's going to go just like so. And when you're gluing, don't put glue on your fold line. Stay just a teeny tiny bit away from it. Now we're going to eyeball this. See if it's straight in there. Looks good. It up. Yep, we're all good. Okay, let's get the other one. Looks good. Okay, let's take this little guy and glue him down. I thought she did an exceptional job with the little tabs. It just added something extra. I had designed it where it was just part of the paper and then it folded over. But she took the time made some little tabs for us. Glue this down about here, just a smidgen, maybe an eighth of an inch from the top. Get number two. And I always prep 
all my ephemera so you don't have to sit there and watch me glue and ink over and over and cut them out. <laughs> that would be extremely boring. About the same eighth of an inch from the bottom. Make sure that they're lined up on the sides. Oh, okay, I got my little gears cut out. These are going to go on here. And what I do, if you've heard of craft paper, it's very strong. That's what I always cut an additional circle because I don't want it to bend on us because we cannot use eyelets on this or it would show through on that side. The only way, if you want to use an eyelet, you could instead of backing this in your printer you would have to just physically back it so that when you put your eyelet through here you back cut another piece put it here and it would cover up the little eyelet prongs but we're going to do it a little bit differently now this is comes from scott and it is or scotch excuse me and it's just foam tape is all it is. comes in a big roll about like so when you get it new. I already cut out my little squares. Get it back it on there. Try to get in the center the best I can. Pull this little tape off. Now here's where I add some extra. I have my hot glue and I'm going to put a dot there. Because he's going to take some abuse with a... Uh, the twine wrapped around him. There we go. I got a big blob. Let's glue him right in the center there. Get the second one and get him undone. There we go. And hot glue will adhere to paper very quickly. <clears throat> Do our second one. This little backing does not want to come off. There we go. The only thing I hate about hot glue is all the glue strings. And they say if you go like this, it's supposed to stop it. It doesn't work for me very well. I still have strings I'm fighting. And these are about probably a quarter of an inch square. You use whatever you like. I just like these because it raises it up enough that I don't have to fight to get the thread underneath it. I'm going to use this as a guideline so that they're relatively straight this way and this way. Here's one of my glue strings. Well, that should be good enough. Let's tie him up. <clears throat> and I usually tie three times. You can tie twice. That would be enough. So we'll just do two. And take some small scissors and sneak under there and clip him off. And there's no right or wrong way whether you go to the top and wind, whether you start at the bottom, whatever you want to do. Doesn't matter either way. I just always start away from any edge 
That way my little tail won't hang out. If I start here, I end there. One down. You want to pull it snug, but not really hard because you could even pull off the hot glue. So just snug enough to get him to lay nice and flat. Just that easy, my ladies. Okay, one more pocket. And that is on our back. This is a big pocket here. Again, fold in your sides. Bottom is last. I'm going to glue all the tabs. She does include also in this some preview pages so you can follow along looking at it also. Fold our sides in. Oops, I almost put them in the wrong place. Just kind of get them centered there. I'm going to put them all the way to the bottom. I'm going to make sure I'm not coming over any of my folds. Looks good. See how it finishes the clock? Okay, now for the fun. Here's all our large ephemera. We've got our little guys. These little guys go in the front here. My pockets are all nice and dry now. Put them back up. Let's do this one now. On mine, or my first one here, you can see underneath now, put the butterflies there. This one I did the gears. We've got this big card. We've got the airship. We've got the fussy cutout of the gentleman and some books. And they're all backed. So let's get our femur here. We get this one. Slide him in there. gentleman over here. And her books. Now for the middle, get these guys back in here. I have got the back is this big card here. So you're going to get him. And we've got in the next pocket, we've got these two. And our balloon, there he is. It's going to go in the first big pocket. If you ever need to loosen up your pockets, which I need to do on that one, get a thin ruler, the thinnest you can find. Run it in there and just slide it around. 
you can just kind of torque it a little bit like so and that'll stretch it just a little bit looking gentleman. He's going to go in here and in our bottom one we're going to do this one and our little light bulb. So there's our inside. And we're going to put our little pockets here, fill them up. We've got these two. Nice big tickets. It's one of their cars. And underneath our belly band, we've got these big cards. Look at those. And for our back. Card here. And we have these little guys. Our shoes. And a little butterfly. And I'm the butterfly down here. I forgot all about this cute little guy. I added him here. And you do you. You add him where you would like. I just glued his center. And then over here, I forgot, I added this cute little steampunk hat. tiny little pieces so they don't hang on anything. He's going to hang over here. Another trick because I put glue on it and you, as you see he's going to hang over just like I did in the first one, the little corner here. That under there. Smash it down. Let's move off of him. And I just usually move it around, press, move around, press. You can kind of feel under there, make sure there's no more wet glue. And we're good to go. We did it, ladies. This is it. We created a cute little folio easy peasy thank you much so much for your time and joining me i appreciate it so much if you have any questions reach out to me at casey creations by linda on etsy and i will get back with you immediately and stay tuned also if you'd like to sign up for my newsletter just email me your email address and i'll include you until then, stay crafty.